Hi, I'm Santiago Vaquera Vasquez, and I'm a Fulbright Senior Lecturer in Turkey, and I have been here for the past two semesters, and I want to talk briefly about my experiences uh, uh, teaching uh, in Turkey, as well as my own experiences as a writer and a scholar. Um, I teach at the, in the Department of American Cultures and Literatures at Ajatepe University, and it's been a fantastic experience. Uh, my classes have included courses on Latinos in, uh, in Latin, Lat Latino popular culture, as well as, as, well as um, borderlands. I've also taught cl classes at the undergraduate level, as well as the graduate level, and I would like to say that my students have really been uh, fan truly fantastic. I've had, I've had many experiences, uh, many great conversations with um, my, my students who come from a, a nice cross-section across the country. Um, also, aside from, from being a, um, a, a teacher and a professor, I'm also a writer. Uh, and I'm currently finishing a collection of short stories about that uh, is partially set in, in Turkey. And my work is all about uh, crossing borders, all about a, a communities that, that meet a, in, um, in conversation and in story. I think that storytelling is an important, an, an important practice, and one of the reasons why I'm I, I loved being a Fulbright um, senior lecturer is because of this experience, because of the possibility of being able to uh, share my own story as a Latino from the United States uh, with a community of Turkish students, but as well as faculty and uh, people out on the um, out on the streets. Um, my um, my so my as I said my work is my work is about a border crossing. It's about community. It's about sharing and dialogue. And I think that the Fulbright offers a uh, a really um, excellent way of building these contacts and these um, and these uh, 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 stories. Once you're in country, once you're in once you're in Turkey, uh, the commission does everything possible to make sure the transition is as, as easy as easy as possible. There's a meeting at the beginning of the uh, of the program year, and in our case, it was in October, and uh, and where you get to meet the other Fulbright scholars, um, uh, who are part who are here on a, on a, on a Fulbright um, award, and uh, you get to meet a really really great uh, uh, group of people, and as well as you get to one, you get to meet the um, meet the the um, the staff working in the um, in the Working in Fulbright, as well as you, you as well as meeting a, a individuals from the embassy who will give who will give a talks on a various topics about living in Turkey, a, including a, um, cultural aspects, including a, um, issues like security, including uh, um, a, a wide a wide variety of, of issues that that will help them make the transition so much easier, and. At the in the middle of the in the middle of the year in the middle of the of, of your program year, there is also a uh, second meeting, which is uh, the mid-year program, the mid-year meeting, and it's actually really really great because then you get to you get to go again, and uh, meet with the uh, meet with the staff, and you get to share your experiences and share your um, share what you've been what you've been doing for the past the past um, a, a, a few months since you've been since you arrived, and at the end of the um, of the academic year, or at the end of the of your program year, there's a final meeting that um, that where you get to meet uh, the, um, the the rest of the commission, but you also get to meet the the board, and it's a it's a really fantastic meeting because again, you present your own work, you get to, you get to talk with your colleagues, you get to share the stories you have heard, and one of the things you may have noticed is that I often talk a lot about story because I think it, not just as a as a writer for me, it's it's really important to um, to to listen to stories and to um, and to to gather the stories that I that I hear, as well as as well as to tell the tell my to tell my own stories, um, because I think it's an important practice because it's a way of connecting us as a community. Um, I think that the Fulbright story, the story that has been told since 1946 around the world, is a rich and deep one, and the Turkish Fulbright Commission, as a part of that story, is has has done some really truly marvelous work. And I think that in these times when uh, uh, fear and uncertainty seem to be gripping uh, many parts of the world, uh, this opportunity to go and live in another country and to share and to communicate, the dialogue with, with people uh, on the street or in your classes um, 
is is truly an important experience because it allows you to it, one to share your own story of who you are but also to hear the stories that others tell you and in this way we can hopefully break apart those those barriers that those barriers that would attempt to define us i always tell my classes at the end of the um, at the end of the year i always tell my classes that part of my job as a as a writer is to tell stories but for me, the most important part of, of my job as a writer is not simply to tell stories, but to listen to stories, to listen to other stories, and to hear those stories and to, sh and to, and to put those stories into contact with my own, I think is a, is a really, truly fantastic and profound um, experience uh, of a shared dialogue and a shared community. And it helps, it helps again, as I said, break down, break down those barriers that would separate us. And so I really want to thank the, um, the Fulbright Commission for uh, uh, giving me this experience uh, to live and share my story, but also to be a part of their own story.